Welcome back, this is Yama Jack. Today we've got Demolitionist Suicidal Biolapse. It is now Sunday, and I've got to record the remaining episodes for this week. That's tonight, tomorrow's two episodes, and then the two episodes on Tuesday as well. And then tomorrow I get to go record next week. So it's a bit, it was a very, very strange um, recording week, but Sometimes you just have a, a strange recording week, and that's okay. You know? It's fine. It's okay. It's okay. Don't need to worry about it so much, right? Let's see what happened. I uh, I did go... Yeah, I talked about the fridge in the last one. We went out after dinner and... Bought the fridge. It's on its way. Still no update on that. You know, a day later. No update. Who would have thought? <laughs> Um, other than that, yeah, nothing really exciting has happened in the past day. I mean, I don't live a particularly exciting life. If, uh, if going out and buying a fridge that'll come in a few months is one of the more exciting things that happened to me, then I clearly don't live a uh, particularly exciting life. I'm really excited, actually, about the, uh, the coming D&D session. I, um, you know, I am going to talk about it. I was thinking, I know that uh, I've got a viewer who watched, I don't know, I want to talk about it because I am, I am extremely excited. I've got, I've got some, some stuff planned for it that uh, is going to just, it's, it's going to be good. And I'm like, I want to watch it, but I know that one of the viewers is, uh, plays D&D, so one, one of, one of the players is a viewer, rather. And, uh, let's get the little teleport thing down here. I just, I don't want to, I don't want to spoil it. And then I don't want to tell them to not watch. Because that's also no fun, right? Yeah, I'll just have to wait until the next session. So I was, uh... It's been all I've been able to think about, though, is, is this, uh... This, this coming D&D &D session and, and what I'm going to be doing and how I'm going to be handling it all and the, the encounters and the planning everything out and getting it all balanced and organized and making sure that it's going to be fun and exciting and emotional. There's a lot of stuff going into it, and it's just been uh, it's been consuming my uh, my my entire consciousness has been uh, completely consumed by uh, by this uh, by this coming session. Just because I have, I mean, it's been uh, a while since I've been able to do any kind of proper homebrew. I, I always alter things when I'm uh, when I'm reading on. Play things exactly how they're written because I I just I think that it's kind of dumb to do it that way because um I don't know it's, it's against the like when 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 uh when Wizards of the Coast or whoever makes an encounter they're not making it for your group right <clears throat> the uh goodness gracious I think I unmuted that a little bit too soon I definitely missed one of the coughs uh <laughs> because uh the, the campaign you know Wizards of the Coast whatever they're balancing it around all the stuff that's already in game that's kind of the point right is is they made it and they're they're using their stuff for it um but I don't like that because uh 
in the group can metagame and and experiences from other uh, games that they've been in can carry over, and I don't like that. I like I like my game to be a unique experience for the players, and uh, sometimes I fail at that, and sometimes I succeed. But I think I think I'm I'm generally okay. Honestly, DMing is easier than people make it out to be, but harder than I'm probably making it seem with that. I think that most people can DM because really, it, it what it, what it boils down to is you gotta you gotta come up with a a general you know kind of like overarching path that they're gonna take, right? So. Like let's say you've, you've ma you're making a quest for them to go and explore a mountain. So you've got you know the city surrounding the mountain built up. You got the characters that are in that city, who, and you made their personalities and all of that. That's not that much work. You know you've got your blacksmith, you've got your bartender, you've got some random citizens, maybe a mayor. You've got uh, like an innkeeper. Uh, some random citizens, maybe one with a quest to tell you to go up the the mountain, um, and then you just you just play those characters, reacting to the the players, as as you would think that they would. Um, so it's it's not really that complicated. Like you don't have to plan out every little thing because, like you don't know what the player is going to do. You just have to build a world and then let the the character the players explore the world and you know make the world react as the world would to the things that the players are doing. It's um actually, no, I want to I want to use this thing. Okay, no we're not. I'm going to I am going to use it down here though. I'm going to make it work, okay? Let's get that cuz we can make make it explode, right? Yeah, look at that. Nice explodey thing. That'll be good for us. You know what? This is probably uh, an RPG moment right here. You guys gonna break through? Go for it. Try it. Do what I dare you. <laughs> Fools! You thought you'd be able to make that work? You can't! Oh, that was satisfying. I like that, uh, that explodey door thing. I gotta use it more often. I keep forgetting that I have it. But uh, if we can... Oh, that's, a, that's a lot of... Where are you coming from? Down here? Um... See, it's not, it's not that complicated. You just you have to make a world and then let it react to your characters. You know? Think about, you know, okay, the characters broke into a bar. What's going to happen? Well, the bartender's probably going to be a little bit mad. And uh, if your bartender is not of the combat type, then they're probably going to be scared. The police or the guards are going to show up. And I think I'd have muted backwards there for a moment, but... Um... You might have a couple of citizens joining in and cheering. Uh, let's say they're they're getting into a fight. Well, you just plan the fight out and put the character combat stuff there, and then just run the combat. Now, if they're they're exploring a mountain, you already know what's on the mountain. Just figure out what direction they're going and see what's in that direction. It's uh, it's it's a lot less complicated. It's a, it's a lot of time though. Is the thing. It's not hard. It's just uh, it's a lot of work. It's not hard work. It's very fun and rewarding, but um, it's uh, it's definitely not uh, hard, you know. Maybe maybe for some people, coming up with like stories and and characters and all that is hard, but I don't know. I don't personally find it that tricky to do. I have a pretty easy time with it, coming up with uh, characters personally. So. Wow, I just like got floated up there. Um, so I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm in a special situation of that creative uh, imagination kind of thing that's necessary to 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 be able to thrive as a DM. But I think that I think that most people could make it work if they just uh, tried it, right? 
Like, I don't think that it's really, uh... Some people can DM and some can't. I think that if, uh, if you're, if you like D&D, you're probably creative enough to, uh... To do it. Right? That's, that's my personal experience, anyway. Oh, that was close. Wow, I was really close. I was really close. Wow. Okay. Well, that's gonna do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video, if you like it, subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.